One day we will make contact with an intelligent civilization in outer space that could be thousands, millions of years ahead of us in technology. So there was this explosion of technology, some of the hidden military secret projects that were going on inside the Third Reich. So they started talking about the Great Pyramid. The Germans were using a little klystron tube, a little vacuum tube. You're going to learn things tonight, today, that the President of the United States doesn't know how this whole system works. I got a uh, phone call from an Air Force intelligence guy who said, this is fantastic and terrible. To Antarctica. They're removing these bodies. They've been down there for over 12 years, filming, removing uh, very sophisticated technology. And they're eventually going to have some sort of chore down there, I guess you can take. The humans up there, uh, there's to be a, a quarter of a billion people up there, but not, not only on the far side, but on the near side. There's all kinds of towns, all kinds of um, cities there. They have the ability to make you do things. Telepathically, they can control you. They can make you wake up, get dressed, go get your car, and drive out into the, uh, the road where they're waiting for you. Took me a minute, because I was kind of pissed. You gotta kind of relax your body first, but... They control the weather. They mine the oceans. They control volcanoes. They control earthquakes. They play with stars. They are immortal. You're a top speaker. Eyes only. As high as you can get. I got interested in weather modification when I was a farm boy. Never could understand why the clouds weren't bigger until I got in the Navy. Uh... Somebody was in control of it. That's what convinced me, that's, again, my information that I own, that's what convinced me that somebody has control of hurricanes. Whether we like it or not, the atmosphere is being modified by human activity. So we are living with it. We must do something about it. We don't have any alternative. In many parts of the world, large-scale weather modification is already commonplace. Technologies that can be used to control weather that can help mankind manage the atmospheric resources, the resources of the sky. Weather control, yes, it is really possible. This has to do with weather modification going on over in China. Now, why does that apply to us here in the United States? Well, we're doing the same thing here. Now, China is talking about using drones to spray particulate matter in the air. Ice ages can be modified. Meteors, comets can be deflected. Even the death of their sun is not a problem. They can either move their planet, reignite their star, or... About as big as the knuckle on, on, on your little finger. The American and British equivalents of this tube at the end of the war was ten times bigger. So in other words, the Germans are miniaturizing electronic components. Come to Washington and I'll let you meet with some folks who are in the deep, deep national security state who will confirm everything I'm about to tell you. And we had a meeting and I began to explain to them that there are two governments. There's the government of we the people. And they walked through these, these ruins. There were three spaceships that crash landed there. And they speculate that these, these individuals landed there because there was already an ancient civilization there, dating back millions of years. So they, they started uh, building cities around there. Towns, uh, all kinds of um, cities there. And it's a huge city. Again, it just shows hundreds of buildings, streets, and all kinds of stuff there. There's a lot of stuff going on on the moon there. Every human being on a 24-7 real-time worldview grid, everybody implanted their, their phone surveillance units, their cars, their passports, their licenses, their credit cards. Explain that shit. How come I can do that? Explain that shit to me. If we don't have power, if we were not powerful entities, then why the can I do that? Explain that to me. They control the energy output of an entire star. For me, this is very interesting. 
would be able to control the Planck energy. The Planck energy is the energy at which space becomes unstable. The rod uh, generators in the clouds or just where we wanted to to see what the reaction was. And it was there when I learned for sure that you could really change a cloud by the amount of cyanide you put in and where you put it. It went from uh, just barely a category one to a category five in less than an hour. Uh, I joked with my students, I put it up on the board, the uh, you know, projection of it, and said, oops, sorry boss, sticky knob there, bumped it a little bit too much. Welcome to the Western Kansas Weather Modification Program, one of the largest in the world. Natural clouds are relatively inefficient at rain production, so they need a help from uh, mankind, so to speak, and that's why we're here. In Las Vegas, a series of planes flew over and sprayed the entire metropolitan area, and you're going to see them fly by here in a minute. It's absolutely unmistakable. Space begins to boil at the Planck energy and gateways, wormholes, doorways, portholes to other dimensions begin to open up. There's much more to that story. He talks about his dad talking about time travel, uh, talking about yeah. having multiple um, um, encounters with, with, with beings and stuff, you know, d d different... Uh, well, this man was very connected, apparently. Since World War II, there has evolved a monster, which you're going to hear about, which desperately needs to be put on a leash and eventually phased out. And that is the deep national security state of unacknowledged special access projects. And they know that there's a tropical jungle down there, I believe 65,000 square miles. That was all flash frozen. So Antarctica was at one time a tropical location, and it was flash frozen very quickly and the actual gravity on the moon is 68.71 uh, percent of earth's gravity uh, and uh, it has a breathable atmosphere subcutaneous perhaps rfid chips forget tracking since the body is basically a transistor not only tracking people but controlling people controlling planes people cars Am I lucky? Everybody else in the world can't do what I can do? No. Pretty f***ing sure everybody else can do exactly that If not more. I should be doing more, but I'm trying to explain to you what's going on. We think it is the energy of nothing. It's called dark energy. Dark energy. There is an energy source beyond the galaxy itself, making up 73% of the entire universe dark energy.